All right, hi, welcome. I see some people logging in. Um, yeah, there's a QR code here on the screen. If you log in and scan the QR code, if you're on your phone, go ahead and type that link. It'll allow you to sign in and then also enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. And then for you, those of you who are logging in, go ahead and put in the chat, where, where are you logging in from? Oh, we've got North Carolina. Hi, Beth from North Carolina. Jenna from Detroit. Canton, Michigan. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Excited to have you here today. Um, as you're joining, go ahead and either scan that QR code or enter that link to sign in, and then also enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. We got Novi, just drove through Novi today. There was lots of construction. <laughs> Pontiac, we got another Mint Hill, North Carolina. Wonderful, we're so excited to have you all here with us today. Um, again, as you're signing in, go ahead and scan the QR code or enter that link um, to sign in and then enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. All right, perfect. We've got some more Michigan, some Grand Rapids. Greensboro. So I love that we've got a great mix of Michigan and North Carolina. I love to see it. All right. Hi, Raquel from Ipsy. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, again, as you're logging in and joining, go ahead and Put where you're coming from, where you're joining from, and then scan that QR code. If you're on your phone, you might have to enter the link so that you can sign in and then enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. All right, welcome to South Lion. Welcome, everyone. We are so excited to have you here with us today. All right, yeah, we'll get started in just a few minutes, but yeah, as you're logging in, enter in the chat where you're, where you're signing in from, scan that QR code or enter that link to sign in and enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. All right, some more North Carolina. Oh, there we go. We've got Lincoln Park. Denver, Colorado. Woo. Welcome. Very cool. We've got people from all over. We love to see it. We appreciate you taking the time to join us today. More North Carolina. We've got Wake Forest. I love it. It's so exciting. Brighton, Colorado. Yeah. Greensboro. First Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Yay, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> We love it. We've got a lot of states here today. All right, yeah, as you're signing in, we'll get started in just a minute, but go ahead and either scan that QR code or enter the link so that you can sign in, and then you could also be entered to win an Amazon Kids tablet. Ooh, Georgia. Hey, right, Georgia. Another Denver. Some more Colorado. Wonderful. All right, well, we're so excited to have you here. Thank you for joining from all over the US today as we're here to talk about kindergarten readiness. Um, specifically today, we're gonna be focusing on math. So I'm Catherine Rosen, a senior specialist here at National Heritage Academies in the math curriculum and instruction 
Department, and here I have Kailani with me. Hi there, I'm Kailani Sargent, kindergarten teacher from Vista Charter Academy here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Wonderful. So we're really excited to talk about math readiness with you today. So math readiness at NHA, here at NHA, we're really passionate about math and the math curriculum that we use. So the curriculum we use really focuses on those cutting edge research practices and high quality instruction that allows students to think about math and talk about math and really engage in that hands-on math and supporting your child along the way. So supporting with where, where needs might be and all of those things. So yeah, Kailani, a teacher here, anything you'd like to add? Absolutely. NHA has done a wonderful job of providing classroom teachers with both the tools and the support that they need in order to help your children be successful in the classroom with an excellent um, math curriculum and again, the professional development to make math learning in the classroom hands on and fun for students, something they really enjoy. Yeah, love it. Thank you, Kalani. So during our time today, we're really going to be talking about a few things. So we want to talk about what is math readiness and why is it important? what you can do at home to support your child with math readiness, and then a path to math success. So what is math readiness? When we think about math readiness, we think about all the things our students will engage in around math. So they're starting to think about things like numbers, counting, uh, shapes, sorting, patterns, all of those things are really those things that help support that foundation to support our, excuse me, support our students in preparing for kindergarten. So why is it important? Why do we want to make sure that our students entering kindergarten have that math readiness? So of course it helps support that early educational success, right? We wanna set that foundation so students have some of those foundational skills that really support them in building math confidence and becoming critical thinkers and problem solvers. And Kailani, anything you wanna add from the teacher perspective? For sure, that math is not just something that we do while we're in the school setting, but math is everywhere. Numbers and colors and shapes are everywhere. And it's not just something that we do at school or at work, but it surrounds us in our everyday lives. So it's really great to give students um, that background information when they do come into the school setting, it's familiar for them, something that they've been talking about and noticing and recognizing at home and feel good about continuing their learning. Yeah, absolutely, and so that really helps to support that smooth transition into kindergarten because they have those foundational skills and they're ready to get started when they come to a classroom like yours. And then of course, setting up that path to that lifelong learning and success. So of course, that strong foundation entering kindergarten, but then also supporting them as they transition through their educational career. And then of course, as critical thinkers and problem solvers through life itself. All right, so there are a couple of key skills that we wanted to talk about today that can really help promote that math success. So the two we want to talk about are number recognition and counting, and then one-to-one -one correspondence. So we'll start with number recognition and counting. So of course that is counting and identifying numbers from one to 10. And we really wanted to provide some activities or things that you can do at home with your child to support that math readiness. So an activity that you can do, and this can be done truly anywhere, is this activity called numbers everywhere. So of course we see numbers everywhere in our world, like Kailani had mentioned, math is, it's everywhere. So being able to support your child in like identifying those numbers and being able to identify them. So in the beginning, of course, supporting your child when you see something that's like, oh, look, that's a two and having them say, repeat the number and then identify the number. And as they build that confidence and that skill, you can be out anywhere and ask your child what numbers they see and have them kind of call out those numbers, give them number names. Uh, of course, we see large numbers in our world, like 495, 274. And of course, our students aren't going to be able to know those large numbers, but just to be able to identify the digits within those things. Absolutely. Yeah. And then another fun activity that you can do at home uh, is called number hunt. So your child is going to be finding numbers. So you can use number cards if you have those at home. Um, there's something that you can easily buy online or you can create them. Um, they can be created with just like an index card and like a thick marker so you can write the number. Starting with numbers uh, one through three, maybe one through five and helping your child build the confidence to identify that number, but you're also gonna kind of hide them around the space. So it could be your home, it could be an outdoor area and have your child kind of go around, find the numbers. Once they find the number, having them tell you the number name. 
hide and seek. Love it. Yeah, we love it. And of course, it encourages like finding those numbers, but then that exploration and movement too that we want to support in our children. All right. So the second thing we want to talk about is one to one correspondence. So I will let Kailani explain what that is. One to one correspondence is um, assigning numbers to objects. So you could take simple objects that you have in your home um, and children would point to each object or touch or tag each object and assign it a number, one number for each object and numbers in order. It's a wonderful skill to practice at home um, in order to get your scholars ready for school. Absolutely. So things you can do at home to support this is, is counting objects and they can be any objects that you have at home. So, of course, we see like blocks here in the picture, but it can be any kind of toys. It can be things like snacks. It can even be people. Um, but having your child count those things. So if wanting to line them up, have them count, make sure that when they're counting, they're tagging or touching the item and giving it one number name. They're not double counting or skipping any um, objects as they're counting. Starting out with quantities three, maybe five. And then kind of building on it as you see your child build that confidence um, up to 10. Absolutely. Some children might be ready for more. Yes, and of course, encourage that too. So I know we talked about um, counting, number identification, and one-to-one -one correspondence, and those kind of all go together. But there are some additional skills that you can also support your child with. So that quantity and shape recognition, pattern recognition, and repetition. So we do have a QR code here um, that will take you to the website. And if you're on your phone and you're not able to access the QR code, you can also go to the NHA web website and there's a kindergarten readiness page and it will have the activities that we just talked about in addition to ones that support these skills as well. Okay, perfect. And so now we'll move on to a path to math success. So to support your child's math journey, there are a lot of things we can do. We talked about um, why it's important. We talked about some activities you can do. So just practicing and counting, identifying numbers. Um, how many times, Kelly, would you say do those things weekly, maybe a couple times a week to kind of support your child? That, that's a great suggestion to start there and kind of maybe let your child take the lead. Once you start and introduce them to counting and identifying numbers in real life, um, they'll pick up on that pretty quickly and will likely engage you in, in playing with numbers in their everyday lives. So it may be something that you, you did every day or every time you got into the car or every time you are um, making a meal. Um, it's something that, that kids really enjoy and you can kind of let them lead that. I love that. Yeah, absolutely. That's so great. And then, of course, some playing some recommended games. So I know we mentioned um, a few activities that you can do again on the website. There are some additional activities and then your child might even have a game that they've experienced or that they've seen or that you've heard that could be something that they want to engage in and it brings them excitement so that can be helpful. And then, Kalani, do you want to speak a little bit more to like patience and encouraging your child during this? For sure. Um, don't be discouraged if it's not an enjoyable activity to begin <laughs> with. It could be pretty new for children. Um, but just be patient, follow their lead, be encouraging. And the more that you make it lighthearted and fun, the more likely your children are going to want to participate because it's something that makes them feel good when um, you know that they know that they're putting in the effort and you're encouraging and applauding that. Yeah, absolutely, and helping them really to build that confidence as well. Okay, so we have, we received a couple of questions. So we wanted to go through that list of questions that we had um, and see if we can answer some of those questions that we have. So the first one that we received was, should I be worried if my child is not meeting certain math readiness milestones? Which is such a great question. So children develop at different rate, rates and minor delays are common, but if you're concerned, we recommend reaching out to your pediatrician or um, your child's teacher. And I know you had a little bit more to add to that one as well. For sure. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard as a parent. I know, um, especially I'm the mom of two kids at home. And um, if they're the first trailblazer came through when my son came along, um, it's it's not um, atypical to compare your kids, right? And um, it's, I was a little worried. My son wasn't meeting the same milestones my daughter was, but every child is different. And I had to learn that as a parent as well, that they are not the same person and they are not going to make the same gains in the same 
same amount of time, um, but having an education background helped me to understand that I just needed to um, support their differences and applaud their efforts and exercise um, some patience and encouragement and to keep at it. The more I exposed both of my children um, to different experiences, um, the better they felt, the more confidence they gained, and the more likely they were to try and try again. And I see the same thing in the classroom with kids as well. Um, they're not like their siblings. Everybody learns at a different rate, um, and that's really okay. Yeah, absolutely. And kind of being able to identify like what their interests are too, right? The things that they kind of lean towards. I'm sure that your children are different in the activities that they to like to do too in terms absolutely. of math. Absolutely. Yeah. What makes them unique. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, so the other one, another one we received was, should I be concerned if my child shows little interest in math or numbers? Yeah, okay, that's a great question too. So prior to kindergarten, it's not expected that your child comes in knowing those numbers, but we do know that it can help set a really strong foundation to support your child. So finding activities or games, um, some of the ones we mentioned or other ones like Kailani had mentioned that your child uh, enjoys and kind of might take the lead on art is a great way to support them to build that confidence and want to engage in those things. Um, yeah, and just kind of continuing to encourage them so that then they might be more drawn to it. And we know that not everyone loves math. So just kind of be, being supportive and patient and encouraging can really support um, your child if they show a little interest in math or numbers. Anything else to add? Absolutely. Um, I would say just to keep it lighthearted and fun. I know from my own experience in the classroom, there are times when um, we'll finish a lesson or an activity and the students are like, but what about math? And they don't even realize that's exactly what we've been doing. <laughs> it's a part of our everyday lives. Shapes and numbers mm -hmm. and colors and counting are every everywhere. So we try our best to make it lighthearted and fun. Um, and, and they don't even know that they're learning. Wonderful. Um, and then the other another one we see we well, we received. Um, what number should my child be able to count to when entering kindergarten? So that is such a good question too. So I know, as we were going through the activities and games that we mentioned, we were talking about starting with like one to three, one to five, and then supporting up to 10, Kailani even mentioned that some students might be ready to go past that. Would you say 10 is a good a good benchmark coming into kindergarten? 10 is a fabulous space, absolutely. Yeah, great. Okay, let's see if we have any other questions. Um, I don't think I have any. I don't know if there's any that, as the kindergarten teacher that you've received, um, just kind of what I had mentioned before, you know, parents are often concerned about that their child is, is underperforming or maybe not doing some of the things that family members and their children um, are doing. Um, but again, that every child is different. Um, some students come into kindergarten, um, you know, who still need some support with counting and one-to-one -one correspondence and other kids come in ready to do addition and subtraction or, or can count to really big numbers. And that's great. So at NHA, we really strive to meet students where they are and take them where they need to be. So students who come in um, with a great background knowledge in math already, um, they're ready to expand their learning and we're prepared for that. And students who have that counting to 10 milestone down pat, we're ready to meet their needs as well. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So I think that's all that we have for questions right now. So that kind of brings us towards the end of our webinar today. So we really appreciate you joining us. So if you didn't get this at the beginning, want to put it back up so you have the opportunity to go ahead and scan the QR code. If you're on your phone and you're not able to scan the QR code, um, you can enter the link in there. Um, you can also take like a screenshot and then access the QR code later as well. But do that so that you can sign in and then you can also enter to win an Amazon Kids tablet. All right, so we'll leave this up here just for a second to make sure that you have a minute to grab that and I also see that we have that um, in the chat as well so if you you can grab it from there too all right perfect so we're really excited and we really appreciate you taking time out of your day to join us today to talk about math kindergarten readiness so if you have any questions we have the number here on screen for you to call to ask those questions as well as where you need to go if you still need to apply to kindergarten so again, we thank you so much for joining us today and we hope to see your scholars soon at one of our NHA schools. Thank you so much.